Fight Fight fans, it is time to welcome the first championship fighters to their fight. First, Haush Menfio. In my opinion, Haush Manfio had the toughest path to get here to the finals. Faced Jolton Loderbach in his first fight, then fought former UFC lightweight world champion Anthony Pettis, beat him, then beat the guy that beat Anthony Pettis, Clay Collard, in a very close fight in the semis. And uh, gonna need a quick, a quicker start here than we've seen from him in the past here against Luik Rajabov. But once he gets heated up, he's a tough guy to stop. Excellent striker. His wrestling's gonna have to be on point for this one. And his opponent, Luik Rajoba. Luik, the 2019 finalist, lost to Nathan Schultz, the Brazilian and best friend of Haush Manfio. There's a lot riding on this fight for him, not just a belt, the title for himself, but the first belt to ever come to Tajikistan, and he takes that very, very seriously. In the 2019 finals, we actually had the ambassador from that country at the fights in Madison Square Garden. This kid's an amazing wrestler, very naturally heavy hands, and a very well-rounded fighter. We're seeing a more focused and refined Loic Rajabov this season. And wherever this guy fights, there is a following from Tajikistan. In New York, the building was packed with Tajikistani fans. We're here in South Florida, and they're still showing out. For those so inclined, Ian Parker likes Luik Rajabov in this bout by decision. Take a look at our tail of the tape for this bout. The number one seed, Luik Rajabov, versus the three seed, Haush Manfio. Both of these men fought hard paths to get here. Manfio is an inch taller. He's got a significant advantage in the arms and the legs. And Lillian Garcia gets our title bounce going. Fight fans, it is time to begin our championship finals. Six million dollars will be awarded this evening along with the prestigious titles. This first championship fight is in the lightweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, he is a striker. Standing at 5'9", he officially weighs in at 155 pounds. In 17 professional fights, he has a record of 14 wins and three losses, with seven victories by way of knockout. Fighting out of Porto Alegre, Brazil, here is your number three seed, Haush Warhorse Manfio. His opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He specializes in wrestling. Standing at 5'8", he officially weighs in at 155 pounds. In 19 professional fights, he has a record of 15 wins, three losses, and one draw, with 11 victories by way of stoppage. Fighting out of Dujambe, Tajikistan, here is the number one seed, Luik Chagwapal Rajaba. Your referee in charge, Andrew Glenn. Andrew Glenn will oversee five potential five-minute rounds. This is a title bout. Somebody's life is going to change. A belt and $1 million on the line here at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Rajabov out of Tajikistan in the red trunks. Haush Manfio, the Brazilian in the black and gray. And right to it with a couple of heavy strikes. Kenny, you calls for a faster start from Haush Manfio. How fast does he need to go? I think he looks great so far, already countering the man from Tajikistan, Rajabov. Doing a great job of countering those leg kicks and backing him up here. This is the best start I've seen from him. Nice one-two combination from Manfio. Oh, another right hand. Attack. A big one and already some redness showing on the side of Luik Rajabov's face. Another one 
two. That time as he eats a leg kick, Haush Manfio biting down and throwing early. Nice job by Manfio to counter the underhook, stay out of the clinch position and subdue that uh, takedown attempt by Rajabov. In the season two championship, the week where Jabov wore a lot of damage on his lead leg, particularly from the calf kicks. He has decided this year to use that to his advantage. He's used it as his own weapon, and he's thrown it a couple of times here in the early going. We'll see if he continues to try and bank those early and often. Well, definitely some redness on the outside of the left calf of Manfio already. Manfio has a very wide stance and a more akin to boxing the way he turns his hips. It's gonna be very hard to check a kick from that stance. It also lowers his level so he can get those underhooks and maybe get some sprawls going. So far, not a whole lot working for Rajabov. This is interesting. The aggression of Haush Manfio early, I think, has reversed the way that, oh, Loic Rajabov usually gets after it and almost to counterpoint. Now Loic charging in behind big punches. There's some dirty boxing, Randy Couture style. Yeah, Rajabov letting those hands fly for sure. Now really putting a lot more energy into those. Now into a much stronger clinch. It's like Rajabov decided, you know, I've had enough of this. Let's yeah. go. Yeah, exactly. He just said the heck with it. Yep. And, you know, he has had some trouble pacing himself during fight. Perhaps that was a part of the problem, maybe. But uh, now it seems like he's finding his range much better. Still has to be careful, though, with the counter striker, Manfield. I'm curious to see how those clinch and grappling exchanges go throughout this fight because Luik Rajabov, great technique, but he also has incredible horsepower. We've seen him move out of bad positions with pure strength in the past, but you can tell how Manfio is a beast just by looking at him. So the strength advantage may or may not become clear throughout this fight. I'll be looking for it. I'm not sure Manfio has missed with that right hand, guys. I mean, that thing is a laser. You can see every time Haush Manfio finds himself within range, he's already turning that rear foot, trying to load up the power on his right hand. Nice low kick from Manfio there. Rajabov doing a nice job of cutting the cage off. Rajabov landed a nice heavy right hand as well there. Definitely got Manfio's attention. Has a strong underhook with his left underhook. Manfio does a good job of turning the tables there, though. Manfio's got the body lock now. He's got it locked up tight, and he's going to let it go. Probably a smart decision. Yep. Tries to land something on the exit. Haush Manfio counter wrestling here. Ooh. Oh, oh, another right hand. Oh, and a one right back from Luis Rajabov. The more of these wrestling exchanges that Manfio wins, the more he's going to take away the confidence of Rajabov. Starts to cast that little seed of doubt in your brain when you can't take a guy down two, three, four times in a row. Oh! Manfield's able to get the duck under there and press Loic Rajabov to the barrier right in front of his own corner. 10 seconds, inside of 10 seconds, after an exciting round number one, we're in the championship fights, baby! There's Manfio waiting for that strike to take advantage of the counter there. That right hand has found its mark again and again. But Rajabov starting to put more sting on his punches. There's a nice hook right hand from Rajabov that backs up Manfio. What a fight so far, guys. Round one is in the books, potentially four more. Randy Couture, Sean O'Connell, Kenny Florian, and inside the cage, Luik Rajabov out of Tajikistan in the red trunks. Haush Manfio trains in South Florida. He calls Brazil home. He's in the black and gray. 
Fighter performance rating favors House Manfield in round number one. I don't think you'll find disagreement from the broadcast position as the right hand continues to seek its mark. Nice left and a knee as, oh, as Loic Rajabov came in, flurrying, furious pace here. Man. Neither of these men want to see a fourth or fifth round getting after it early here in round number two. Yeah, things are starting to heat up in this second round. And you see the battle of that underhook clinch versus the tie clinch of Manfield. Manfield felt that was going to be a key to his success, getting that tie clinch and trying to land some knees. But those uppercuts and counter right hand from Manfield have been money. Little left hook on the way out as Manfield tried to exit from the job off's clinch. Great counter striking for Manfield now as Luis Rajabov waiting in. That's been more of his style. He was interrupted from it in round number one. Maybe he wanted to be more conservative with his energy, Randy, as we talked about in the pre-show. Oh, nice right hand there from Luis Rajabov, and now he's in on double underhooks. Oh, Rajabov had an excellent position here. If he can get his hips underneath that of Manfio, he can hit this takedown. Set up by a beautiful right hand. One of the best shots of the fight from Rajabov. Life-changing opportunity here inside the smart cage for both of these men. The million-dollar prize attached to a PFL belt. By far the biggest purse either would have earned. Hausch Manfio, best friend of Natan Schultz. Great training partner for a lot of great fighters. Always been the bridesmaid, so to speak, and never the bride. And tonight, he could make a name for himself, cracking away in the center of the cage. Well, we are turning oh, up. Big right hand and toe a kick. To toe. Looked like that may have hurt that lead leg of Rajabov. Yeah, that lead leg of Rajabov may be compromised, guys. Nice job by Manfield to keep countering the clinch, not allowing. Rajabov to, to pull him into that wrestling match. Two minutes remain here in round number two. Michelle Manfield, Haush Manfield's wife. A lot on the line for her as well. She and her family have sacrificed a lot to make this dream possible for Haush. Haush Manfield, as Kenny mentioned while he was walking out, maybe had the hardest path to get to this championship. He beat Clay Collard in an upset. He beat Anthony Showtime Pettis in an upset. And he comes into tonight again as the dog. Can he pull off another upset for a $1 million championship? Swing and a miss from Haush Manfield. Ooh. Another guy that was frustrated by having fights fall through for a couple of years in a row. Didn't get much activity. And one of the things he loves about the PFL is he knows when his next fight is. He told us he was this far away from calling it quits on fighting, going back, working construction, going back, doing something else, because he needed to put food on the table. Guys, that, that lead leg of Rajabov, it might be a couple kicks away from him getting dropped. He, he is not moving in the same manner that he did when he started this fight. Well, Kenny, it's interesting you bring that up because if we go back to the 2019 championship when he lost to Natan Schultz, who's a training partner and friend of Haush Manfio, it was those calf kicks that proved to be the difference in that fight. So some insider trading, yeah. so to speak, <laughs> from Natan Schultz maybe telling Haush, look, if you want to get this guy out of there, the only thing you can do is take away his base. Loic, oh, once again, he's hobbling. Good call there. Trouble putting any weight on that, Kenny. You're absolutely correct. Yeah. Apparently, Kenny Florian knows what to look at in fights. <laughs> News I know to what, me. I know what pain looks like and feels like. <laughs> and he's kind of going to that horse dance. Oh, big body kick there by Manfield. <laughs> Ten seconds remain in round number two. Can Luis's leg survive the next three rounds? We'll find out in 60 seconds. Well, here's that calf kick here from Manfio. Boom! Knocked him on his knees there. 
may have compromised the ankle a little bit when he fell as well. Round three begins here. Loic Rajabov, Haush Manfio for the 155 pound season three PFL championship and the big boy $1 million check. In a clinch here early, Manfio loves that. Rajabov with the slight edge there according to fighter performance rating. He had a very strong early part of the round. Manfio came on later. Oh, once again, the right hand going to work for Haush Manfio. Randy, this has delivered. This championship bout looks a lot like we thought it might. Back and forth, two guys hungry as can be, trying to get the biggest win of their careers. Absolute scrap. It appears that Manfio did his homework. He knows this guy's gonna plot forward, and every time he plots forward, a one-two comes right down the middle and makes him pay to get there. Yeah, absolutely agree, Randy. Manfio, so sharp with those counters. Henry Hooft in between rounds, asking Rajabov for forward pressure and hooks as he comes forward. Just not able to get it done. Manfield with those straight strikes, making him pay. Excellent work, gauging the distance from Haush Manfield. That time, an overhand snuck through for Loic, who's had a lot of success coming forward. Oh, yeah, there's those big right hands. Hand. The sweat flying off these heads as they crack away. Manfield tries a knee. Notice Rajabov's getting that lead leg up and not taking yes. those kicks on the calf. 100%. That's going to be huge for him to keep that leg alive. This is the, where Loic Rajabov wants to live, crowding the because not the touch. So that was Manfield. <laughs> Nice knee and a left hand from Manfio. Scooping uppercut misses there from the week Rajaba. Three minutes remain in round three. Grueling pace in this fight. If we continue into the championship rounds, Kenny, will fatigue become a factor for either of these individuals? I'm not sure. I mean, both guys really keeping a very high pace, as you said, but I don't really see them exhausted at this point. Still looking strong, in my opinion. I agree 100%. I don't see any fatigue setting in. Both guys have been torrential in their output. Neither carrying a lot of fat on them. <laughs> yeah, man feels slightly leaner than you, Sean. Slightly. <laughs> Our bodies are virtually identical, Kenny. I don't know what you're talking about. Speaking of Manfield, he came in as the betting dog. Look at the live odds. They have switched in his favor. Haush Manfio is now the pick. His wrestling has been on point, just doing a great job of winning those underhooks, not allowing Rajabov to get underneath him. I think that's where th that strength comment I made earlier is relevant because a lot of times the weaker job off pulls his way into a clinch and is just able to muscle guys to the ground. Now oh. Manfio's got all he can handle. Now he's landing some good shots. He's in all those legs. There it is. Every time I say Louis Rajabov can't do something or isn't doing something, he goes out and does it. Now he's got Aush Manfio on his back. Well, he was finally able to land with those big shots and level change at the same time, able to scoop up those hips and put him on his back. This could be a huge momentum shift for Rajabov, but Manfio right back to his feet now. Excellent work by Aush Manfio getting himself back up, and Rajabov leaning in on it, trying to elevate it one more time. Wow. And Randy, what kind of a psychological win is that for Haush Manfio to get back up after not a lot of damage on the ground? That is a huge psychological win for him, and it's it's a dejecting psychological point for Rajabov to work that high and finally get it where he wanted him and have him pop right back up like that. Inside of one minute remaining here in round number three, back and forth. I am glad I do not have to judge this fight. I mean, I'm judging, but I don't have to officially <laughs> judge this fight as they go back and forth. 30 seconds here in the third frame. Nice knee. And some good counter striking from Luik Rajabov, who bulls Manfio back into the cage. Well, this, is the, this has been the best round for Rajabov, in my opinion, by far. Able to hit those takedowns, landing some big shots on the feet as well. 
doing exactly what Henry Hoof told him to do, bring that forward pressure and land those hicks on, uh, hooks on the way in. I tell you what, Kenny, I think you're right. I think the two big right hands Oh, oh nice, nice sweep. sweep. And then we saw him doing that in the practice room. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Strong finish. For the lovely Janie there lets us know we are in the championship rounds, fourth frame of a lightweight title bout. Luik Rajabov out of Tajikistan in the red trunks. The Brazilian Haush Manfio in the black and gray. Back and forth we have gone. FPR favors Rajabov in round three. For those tuning in, there's a belt on the line. Oh, One million dollars and an exchange of hooks showing both men want it badly. Now, Luik Rajabov in on a double. And he gets Manfield down. Manfield right back up. Excellent scramble from the Brazilian. Oh, great job by Manfield. Able to sneak that arm on the inside and turn and face. Randy, I asked earlier if fatigue would become a factor in this fight. I'm telling everyone now, fatigue is going to be a factor oh, in this oh, fight. Boy. Big combination, left hook, right hand. Rajabov digging deep. Rajabov looks exhausted. He's dropping those arms. Big body shots there by Manfio. And oh, that's a long right hand. Rajabov trying to catch his breath. Manfio still in his face. Another kick. Manfio looks to be the fresher fighter here. Uh, he's hurt. Those, those are brutal oh. lever kicks, guys. Does Luik Rajabov have anything left? He'll swing away until it's all said and done. Hausch Manfio predicted a fourth round knockout in the pre-fight interview. Right now, Luik Rajabov is hanging on. Big nice knees to the body. Knees. He made him pay for being in that clinch with those knees. There was two knees right to the gut. And Manfio's pace has been just as furious as Rajabov's has during this entire fight. But he appears fresh, active, and he's pouring it on here. Let's see if he goes upstairs with those kicks. He's been attacking the body, and the arms of Luik have been dropping. Let's see if he recognizes it and goes upstairs with one of those high kicks. Comes a knee. Oh, thought he was going to throw it. <laughs> Rajabov trying to hang on, circling around. Manfield gives him no breathing room. Hands down at the waist for Luik Rajabov. Body shot for Manfield. Oh. Another knee. And another. And another. That one digs in. How is Manfield? Right. Will not be denied with these combinations. Rajabov is in survival mode absolutely here, doing his best to stay in this fight. And we know Manfield only gets stronger as the fight goes on. He had a great start, and he continues to get better. you got to start wondering what he's got to throw at this guy to get him out of there. Well, Rajabov is as tough as they come at 155 pounds. We saw it two years ago when the touch shot that man had to do the same thing to Luik Rajabov, unable to get him out of there. Two-time PFL lightweight champion, but tonight, just the best friend of Pahush Manfield, hoping to see his guy get his own million-dollar prize and belt. I'm not sure what Rajabov was pointing at there, but it almost looked like he wanted to say something to Manfield. Oh, oh nice foot sweep by Manfield. I'd like to see him go back to that outside of the cap as well. He's ignored that kick, but my goodness, Rajabov has taken a lot of punishment and will not go away. Finally throws a jab back. Haush Manfield just poured on a lot of energy into those combinations trying to finish Luik Rajabov. Now, the Tajikistani fighter looks to have caught a little bit of second wind, if only briefly. That might have been his fourth, fifth, or sixth win. Yeah, this exactly. Wow. We are in zombie mode here in round number four. <laughs> One minute remains in the fourth frame. As Haush Manfield grabs a clinch, Luik Rajabov shoves him off. Body shots. Another knee. Back upstairs. Nice and that foot sweep again. Luik Rajabov appears to be trying to hang on to a fifth and final round where he can put it all out. 25 Lee. seconds to get through here. 
Manfio, knee, that one to the forehead, and some blood trickling down for Luik Rajabov. Unbelievable how Rajabov's been able to hang in there. Luik Rajabov will survive to see a fifth and final championship round. What is happening here in South Florida? Hausch Manfield saw fight after fight after fight in his career fall through. He was so close to walking away from the sport. He was actually an alternate for this season. And now he's perhaps one round away from a championship. Doctor coming in to take a second look. Making sure he's still ready to go. And I gotta tell you what, Luik Rajabov's corner basically had to push him back out into this fight. Hausch Manfio senses that he's close. Manfio in the black and gray, Luik Rajabov in the red. Tajikistan versus Brazil. Overhand misses for Luik. Five minutes left in this championship fight. Rajabov still has some pop in that right hand, boys. He definitely got to be careful, especially in this first minute. Oh. Nice combination here from Rajabov, left and a right and a left. Yeah, and he has come back to life a few times during this <laughs> fight, somehow. And Kenny, you called for perhaps a 10-8 round four. Look, we have no idea how those first four rounds, first three rounds, excuse me, were scored. If I'm Hausch Manfio or his corner, I'm not confident that I'm winning this fight. I won the last round, certainly. I'm not confident that I'm ahead on the judge's scorecard. Both of these guys should be seeking a finish here to guarantee themselves that million dollar check in round five. Well, you never know. We saw some close decisions this season. It looked like Manfield was winning the first two rounds, in my opinion. It looked like Rajabov won the third. Manfield in the fourth, but in this fifth round, all it takes is one shot, and again, you never know how the judges are seeing this. And now, Kenny, what win did we decide the week Rajabov was on in the fourth <laughs> yeah, round? It's gotta I be. lost count. Yeah, four or five, maybe six. <laughs> he found another gear, fighting with the pride of an entire nation on his back, Rajabov shoves Manfield off at least one more time, and they get back to work. As grueling as it comes here, five, five minute rounds at this oh. pace. Nice right hand on the exit from the week, Rajabov. Nice left hook. Rajabov's had a very strong round here. Landed a lot of shots, been backing Manfield up in this round. And now a clinch. Inside oh. trip, takedown on the inside trip. Well, Job off right back up, not conceding anything. Great idea to not waste any time on the bottom. He just gets right back to his feet. Both men exhausted at this point. Yeah, how many punches did Manfio throw in round number four? I mean, man, what a pace. Oh, both of them. Sweet back and forth. We've seen 22 and a half minutes of this fight. 21 and a half of those have been on the feet right here, toe to toe, banging away. Now Rajabov grabs a single leg, tries to run it. Denied by Haush Manfio. It's to me like both these guys prepared for a five round battle for sure. More knees from Haush Manfio. Uppercuts from the week, Rajabov. Manfio looks to push him back. Shrugged off by the week. Now, there's just not a whole lot of men at 155 pounds that can take the damage to the body and to the leg that Rajabov has tonight. Well, we saw him in season two endure hell in the effort to win a championship. He came up just short, and he's willing to go through it again here. Swinging away still. 90 seconds remain in this lightweight title bout. Spinning kick attempted by Rajabov to back Hausch Manfio up. This is the first of six championship fights, by the way. I might need to pace myself. <laughs> if it gives you any idea what we're in store for tonight, this is a perfect example. 
Oh, big right hand by Manfield. Manfield coming on strong here now. It comes down to the final minute here. Luik's corner calling for him to get off the cage. Both of these men have battled their entire careers to get this opportunity. For the winner, a belt and one million dollars. For the loser, a better luck next year. 30 seconds remain. Back to the center of the cage they go. Loic pushing forward. Manfield waiting for him. Inside leg kick from Loic. Swing and a miss. Great counter strikes from Manfield who lands a flurry again. 10 seconds left. My goodness. Wow. What a fight. And a need to finish. What a fight. Unbelievable fight to open the card. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what a battle. Hosh Manfield thinks he's done enough. Luis Rajabov doesn't have the energy to celebrate, even if he does think <laughs> that he's the victor. I mean, both men are exhausted. They gave it everything they had, and again, fought like the winner, as if they were fighting for a world championship, and as if the purse would change their lives, and that's exactly what's gonna happen tonight. Both men showing championship heart for sure. What a fight. What an incredible display of mixed martial arts acumen for both. Look at the output. Wow. Nearly 400 total strikes. Jeez. Kicks, punches, knees, takedowns, cage grappling. But the only thing we didn't see was a ground strike. Yeah. <laughs> Take a look at the fighter performance rating round by round. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Rich Energy presents fighter performance rating. According to the algorithm and the smart cage, Luik Rajabov took three rounds. Yeah. yeah. I do not envy the position of the judges. No. And let's not forget about round number four. I, Could be I, a 10-8. I was, I was looking at this exactly the opposite way as the FBR is saying yeah. it right now. I mean, now. that round two, very, very close. That I mean, that could have gone either way for sure, but Wow, this is going to be interesting. What are we going to do if this is a championship draw, Kenny? No, no, no. <laughs> I can't take it. <laughs> All right, now Lillian Garcia will make this official. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. And the totals are 48-46, 48-46, and 49-46. All for your winner by unanimous decision and the 2021 PFL Lightweight World Champion, Hosh Champion, how does that sound? How man, this is a dream come true. Only God could make this in my life, Jesus Christ. And he opened a door where it has no wall, and now I am here with a million dollars. And you know, more than happy to provide to my family and tell the history. But it's not about me, it's about Jesus because I know him, I saw him in every step I, I make in this here. It was impossible, it was impossible to be here tonight. And he make it, this happen. It's a dream come true. Hey, Natan, now I have a belt like you, my brother. <laughs> Natan Schultz, your best friend, 
your trading partner, Natan. Natan. Natan, tell me how you feel right now watching your best friend win the belt that belonged to you for two years. I feel very happy for for how much he's the fighter. I training my I, seven years with him. He's a tough fighter. He's he's at the champion right now. 2021, he's a champion. Aush, you began this season as an alternate. Fight after fight after fight fell through. Your career was not going the way you wanted it to. You held on. You took advantage of every opportunity. You beat Clay Collard to get here. You beat Anthony Showtime Pettis to get here. And then tonight, an unbelievable, grueling five-round battle with Loic Rajabov. You earned this belt, my friend. Thank you. Man, I, I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, I, I own a lot of persons. My coach is Katel Macaho. Pahumpa probably is crazy now in Abu Dhabi watching my fight. And uh, thank you, Master. Thank you all of you for an American Top Team. To make my dream come true is a teamwork. I'm, tonight I'm here shiny, but we're building this together. So thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Haush Banfio, 155-pound season three champion and millionaire. What an amazing, amazing fight. The counter striking of Manfio on point. There's some forward pressure and punches there from Luik backing up Manfio as he tries to get to the clinch. There's some nice short hooks from Rajabov on the inside. Manfio with that inside trip, hitting a takedown of his own here in this fight. And I think, Randy, the story of the fight was really the counter striking of Manfio and his wrestling defense. Absolutely, I think his wrestling defense was great. I think Rajabov used to getting into that clinch, getting that under and, and able to, to take guys down, and Manfio wasn't having it. He saw him shift in the third to the straight double, punched his way in and got the hips to get the takedown finally. And I think that really created a little seed of doubt in his mind. But uh, the, those long straight punches by Haush, he knew he was gonna plot forward. He was gonna make him pay to do it every single time. So Aush Banfio will celebrate with the family, a newly minted millionaire and champion. Another championship fight is next, Woo, by the way. We gotta pace ourselves. I tell you what, <laughs> you know what I love about that, Randy Couture, is that that's the first title bout of the night. That's five five-minute rounds between two absolute monsters going back and forth, yeah. and that sets a tone. Everyone else that's yeah. looking for a belt tonight <laughs> now has to try and live up to that. Yeah, good luck, top of yeah, that, boys. Set the yeah, bar yeah. pretty high. And oh, girls. Boy. Yeah. I bet they're back there now questioning, oh, man, maybe I didn't do enough sprints. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I didn't do enough work here. What a fight.